Hello beautiful people, good morning or good afternoon, whatever you might be. Welcome back on my YouTube channel, Ivan Tero. This is our daily tarot reading for Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. Sit back, enjoy and have some fun. I will start with a spiritual reading and then we will talk only about love. So make yourself comfortable and let me see beautiful people what is going on what we should know so let me start major kind of the sun the best card we can get in our reading and the very next one is three of wands this is fire element and this is fire element but what guys this means all together so i decided to start with so-called spiritual guys you know messages uh, let me know guys you know how much you like it because i kind of feel love reading is not enough especially guys you know nowadays so let me see major card the sun uh, time of a great joy and success well thank you lord this is what we need you know we need to know something and you know joyous right we all want to be successful so brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities and it is intero major color the sun represents a god maybe you know that maybe you do not know that you see guys um, every single tarot card have thousands and thousands of meaning and layers right so epiphany how about that something big could happen you will find out something great could be such a big info about your current life or about your future life and in tarot this means important person, important message, important event will, which will change the rest of your life. Could be a book, could be a job, could be a new colleague, whatever it is, it's going to be big. Let me guys read once again, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities. So magical opportunity something big guys will happen plans that works out perfectly how about that do you have a plan what do you plan for your life and one thing more please be grateful to the divine be grateful for all those gifts god is sending to you and even if this gift is rather small be grateful i'm grateful for every single glass of water for beautiful sky brought the light on night sky i'm grateful for every single meal i'm grateful we all guys should be you know modest much more modest than before now let me see three of wands planning for the long term whether this is you or maybe a spouse or maybe a family this could be your plan this could be plan, plan of your family so it's beautiful abundance from your past choices so you made your choice month ago two weeks ago five days ago three years ago and now gifts are coming gifts are coming abundance from past choices pride in the success of your labors you will be proud of yourself saying uh -huh, I made this I made that I helped this person or group of people so you should be proud of yourself there must be something real nice about you for those of you who are a little bit uncertain at this time three of wands is saying be patient as you decide 
what is next in your life. This is by the way fire energy as I already mentioned five minutes ago. This could be Leo energy guys and we still have you know close you know Venus and Mars in the sign of Leo which is energy of love, children, teaching, learning and expanding. So all in all God himself is asking you do you have a plan? What type of a plan? Are you happy with yourself? Are you happy with your life? How certain you are about your next step. Now this is also let me guys repeat once again for love reading. Aries Leo Sage especially Leo very powerful energy. This guys because of three of wands could be someone that you met a couple of months ago and this person will pop up in your life again and this is not your ex. I'm not talking about your ex. Simply I'm referring I'm talking about person that you maybe met a couple of months ago could be a couple of weeks ago as well and this person want to talk to you this person want to see you uh, because divine spiritual entity will kind of connect the two of you together again. So Major Card of the Sun and Three of Wands they're trying to prepare you for a completely new chapter of your life and it's about expansion. You're just about to expand your influence, knowledge, love, career or whatever is on your mind. Major Card of the Sun is saying toughen up, be strong and your self-esteem is growing. So it's a big potential. Now my yellow cards, da 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 da. Be confident, you have the power, you have the power and there is someone who is afraid to admit their feelings. What the heck? Let me pull another one. Trustworthy person. So there you go. Usually when it comes to love reading, you can trust this person because Major Arcana the Sun acts like the Sun, the planet in astrology. Important person who maybe was a couple of months ago afraid to admit their feelings, but this person made progress inside of them and this person is not afraid as before. This is why we have be confident you have the power over this person. You see guys everything makes sense. Now let me guys show you my cards and then we will proceed. So this goes like this and this goes like that. Okie dokie. Now let me see guys how this story will grow. I like this reading so far. Six of Cups, Union and Reunion. You and your family. Your role in your family is getting stronger. Your family is starting to appreciate you more and more. Um, this is you helping them, loving them, helping maybe even financially, you know. So your family members, your parents, your children, your spouse, you know, they will start, uh, they will start appreciating you more. By the way guys, Six of Cups is beautiful card. Uh, when you can release previous, you know, anger or sadness or I don't know guys, you know, whatever, something like that, you know, and you can move on. Like you, you will feel more uh, you will feel more alive in your life, you know. So, guys, this also could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio, person who is still afraid to show emotions, but circumstances will help the two of you to find one another again. So, for some of you guys, this represents a, um, a reunion. Be confident, this person will approach to you, not vice versa, okay? There you go. I just talked about Cancer Pisces Scorpio and there he is, right? Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is person who is very romantic, 
shy, this person likes to withdraw, especially when they are in love. If you are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe you can recognize this energy when you are in love. You can't look this person directly into their eyes. You are trying to avoid uh, confrontation with eyes, right? And this is how this person is acting towards you. So, but there is love. Someone dreams of you. And for many of you, dreams will become a reality. Explore this passion. Explore this uh, love. Fall in love. And uh, every single decision of yours now will be based on your emotion. Let your intuition guide you. And believe, guys. Believe. Okay? Just believe. So this person have a problem being afraid to admit your own feelings. But in general, this person, as far as I can see, is trustworthy person. Who knows? Maybe one day this person even will be ready to marry you. But for now, guys, everything is happening in a very slow motion. Wow. Ooh. What now? And what now? King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So, let me think. Another person. My oh my. For those of you who are single, 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 single for quite some time, you know, what will happen? I can see two people. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And what now? Now you should choose. Now you should choose. So, this could be also, this person also could be rich. Uh, attractive because of money, security, stability. And this is pure love. So, girls and boys, now you should choose. You should choose. So, it looks like two people want you. One of them is afraid to admit feelings and another one is trustworthy person. You should be confident you have the power over those two people. You have the power over them. Okay, so choose with your heart. Follow your intuition. Once again, choosing major kind of the lovers. Once again, guys, it's about choosing. This time, guys... This is marriage, future marriage, current marriage, maybe you are married, but there is another person walking, entering into your sight. Sweet, sweet worries. What to do? Will you stay loyal to your spouse, to your partner, or what you are going to do? Major kind of lovers is asking you what you're going to do put your comment on my youtube channel if you're already partnered or maybe even married what you are going to do and remember this is love i'm not saying this is not love it is as well it's trustworthy person so this person also is lurking at you and this person wants you as well this person have a lot of money willing and ready to spend a lot of money obviously on you so i'm asking you what you are going to do when it comes to your career let me just mention in uh, when it comes to your career your career is asking you this beautiful major card the sun so your phones choice you know do you have a job that basically do you like or love to do also some changes some choices are coming for you as well and this is our reading and kind of i like it and guys i hope you will like this reading as well Ta -da! so be confident choose do whatever you want to do but it looks like trustworthy person is coming into your sight not bad i think this is exactly guys you know what probably you wanted 
I think this is something that you wanted. Comment, like, share, subscribe. Schedule a private reading, guys, if you want with me, right? You will get astrology reading and tarot reading for the same price. Call me on evanelterro at hotmail.com. Until tomorrow, God bless you all. Bye.